Hey YouTube, and Sendar here. Uh, doing another video that comes up in Guild a lot when we get the Guild quest for Fogans. So this will be how to get to them. You start in Sangrain Bazaar, and they are pretty much directly southeast of this location. So you just want to run in the 4 or 5 o'clock direction. It takes about 8 to 10 minutes on the lowest level camel. I'm just going to record this whole thing and not skip anything. So you can either use the YouTube setting to speed it up if you don't have a second monitor to watch this or just skip to see landmarks as I do this. If it's your first time out here, there's about four or five other nodes you can pick up on the way pretty easily. And I'll point those out even though I run past them. Other nodes we'll run past are Pilgrim Sanctum Sincerity, Aquaman Node, Humility, Pilgrim Sanctum, Purity, and this will, when we get to the Fogans, we'll also pick up the Tidium Valley Node, and I'll show you where that guy is. Now, I did this with a compass, which I do recommend if you can pick one up. I did a video on how to either just buy one from the marketplace or create your own. And that's about five to ten minutes to do that quest if you haven't done it. Once you do it and uh, your compass expires after three days, you can just marketplace three items to put together to make a compass. It helps a lot with desert if you're having issues and getting lost. Eventually, you'll get pretty comfortable with the desert, though. You can see with the compass, I can actually see where I am running on the world map. And, of course, the mini-map doesn't show much in the middle of the desert. But it helps a lot when there's trees or water or mountains. So as far as Desert Fogans, they're pretty hugely dense, which is pretty good. Experience is okay. Drops, I didn't really see anything interesting. So farming them for uh, silver probably isn't the best. And this is a pretty good hike. But other than weekends and guild quests, and even if there's multiple groups there, you can pretty much go as long as you want, not having people get into your rotations. I would at least try this if you haven't been down here. Now as I'm running here on the left, you'll see some palm trees and a structure. That is actually another node, Sincerity, so you can pick that up and then continue on this path. And there you can see where I am on the world map. There's some random mobs here, so if you're really low level, well, you probably won't be coming out here if you're low level anyway, but they can't really do much to you. Just keep running. If you're really low level and just trying to pick up energy, you can get tons of energy, but I highly recommend bringing a compass. It'll make this so much quicker. I came out here originally without a compass. Did manage to get lost a few times. Wasted a couple hours. You can see how the terrain is going to slowly change up here into some palm trees and mountains. This whole Desert Falcon area is basically a valley with a river in it that runs east to west. So once you get to the river, it's pretty easy to find your location and how to get around. However, it is in the desert, so you'll, you won't have mini map or world map without the compass. Yeah, 
yeah, you can really see how this compass makes things a lot easier with the minimap working. <laughs> So just keep heading southeast. You can see this little valley on the world map there. You might come into this a little differently. But it's pretty simple. Just look for the river and the palm trees. And of course the valley. I'll show you a place to put your camel that uh, is safe for hours at a time. There's probably some closer locations, but you don't want to take the camel to the node once you start seeing these fogans. We're hearing this is one of the lower density areas. If you really want to uh, grind here for a bit, you want to go a little further in. I'm going to try to put the camel over here next to a, a bit of a landmark, this cave thing. By the way, camels are pretty slow. If you have movement, movement speed 5 or other movement abilities, you can probably outrun it. Alright, so now I'm going to go back down in the valley where this water is and just head east. The node manager will be on the left of this valley when you're going east. You can see in the minimap the density picks up on these things. It's actually a really easy area with this river running through it. Just stay to the left of the river, and eventually you'll see this node manager here on the left. These won't do too much damage here, 56, 57, with some decent. Uh, DP, but all right, we can see him on the mini map up here. You just want to run up here in these little rocks, and there you go, the node manager for Tidium Valley. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe for more videos and to get notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one.